In this video, we will look at how to solve for the current through an inductor in an RL circuit. Recall that an RL circuit is a circuit consisting of only independent sources, resistors and a single inductor. The expression for the current through the inductor depends on whether we are solving for the natural response or the step response. The natural response is the currents and voltages resulting from the sudden disconnection of a DC voltage or current source, whereas the step response is the currents and voltages resulting from the sudden application of a DC voltage or current source due to switching. In this given circuit, the switch is closed for a very long time and at time t equals to zero, the switch is opened. The general steps to solve a first order RC or RL circuit are shown here. For an RL circuit, the first step is to decide whether we are solving for the natural response or the step response. Once this is decided, then we solve for the parameters that make up the natural or step response. In this particular example, we will see that we are solving for the natural response of an RL circuit. The first step is to determine whether we are solving for the natural or the step response of an RL circuit. In order to do this, we examine the circuit after switching takes place. If there is an independent source in the circuit, then it is a step response problem. If there is no independent source in the circuit, then it is a natural response problem. For this given circuit, the switch is initially closed and it opens at times t equals to zero. This means that this is the circuit of interest after switching takes place. We can see that after switching takes place, there is no independent source in this circuit. Therefore, we are solving for the natural response of an RL circuit and the current through the inductor has this form where the time constant tau is L over R. The next step is therefore to solve for the two parameters that make up the natural response that is I naught and tau. So let's see how to do that. The next step is to find the current I L zero minus. Recall that T is equal to zero minus denotes the time just before switching takes place. Therefore, I L zero minus denotes the current through the inductor just before switching takes place. We find I L zero minus using the equivalent circuit at time T zero minus. In order to draw the equivalent circuit at time T zero minus, we use the fact that under steady state, the inductor acts like a short circuit to DC. For this given problem, it is given that the switch is initially closed for a very long time and then it opens at time t equals to zero. Using the fact that under steady state, the inductor acts like a short circuit to DC, we can draw the equivalent circuit at time t zero minus as follows. So we have the 10 amp current source. We have the 0.1 ohm resistor. We replace the inductor by a short circuit. And then we have the network of resistors. So this is 40 ohm, 10 ohm, 2 ohm. This one is 0.1 ohm and 10 amp current source. The current through this inductor is I L zero minus. In this circuit, we see, can see that we have a short circuit branch. Since current takes the path of least resistance, the current produced by the 10 amp current source will only flow through this path 
that means no current will flow through the point 1 ohm resistor or this network of resistors therefore the current i l 0 minus is equal to 10 amps also since current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously i l 0 plus is equal to i l 0 minus and this will be equal to 10 amps the next step is to find tau and this is done using the circuit after switching has occurred this circuit is shown here we can see that we have a single inductor and a network of resistors thus the time constant tau is given by l over r equivalent where r equivalent is the equivalent resistance seen by the inductor so this means that we need to find the equivalent resistance as follows so we have the inductor connected here we remove the inductor and the resistance seen looking into these terminals is R equivalent this e equivalent resistance can be found using series parallel combination of the resistors so we start at the far end and start collapsing the circuit back towards the input in this case the 10 ohm and the 40 ohm resistors are in parallel and then this equivalent resistance is in series with the 2 ohm resistor thus R equivalent is given by 10 parallel 40 plus 2 and this is equal to 10 times 40 divided by 10 plus 40 so this result is obtained by using the equivalent resistance of two resistors in parallel plus 2 and this is equal to 400 over 50 plus 2 and this is 8 plus 2 which is 10 ohm thus the time constant tau is given by L over R equivalent and this is equal to 2 divided by 10 which is 0.2 seconds next we can substitute to get the expression for the current through the inductor the current has this form tau is given by 0.2 seconds and i naught is equal to i l 0 plus which is equal to i l 0 minus and for this problem the value was 10 amps substituting these values the current through the inductor is given by 10 e raised to the power minus t over 0.2 and this can be written as 10 e raised to the power minus 5t because 1 over 0.2 is equal to 5 and this expression is valid for time t greater than or equal to 0. We can use the plot command in Mathematica to plot this expression of the current through the inductor the result is shown here in this case the time constant is 0.2 seconds therefore 5 time constants is 1 second we can see that the current starts at 10 amps and then exponentially decays to 0 and after 5 time constants have passed uh, the value of the current is approximately 0 Once we obtain the current through the inductor, we can solve for any other desired voltage of voltages and currents in the circuit using the expression for the current through the inductor. Suppose we are interested in this output voltage across the 40 ohm resistor. This can be determined using the current through the inductor as follows. In this circuit, we can see that the 10 ohm resistor and the 40 ohm resistor are in parallel therefore these two resistors will have the same voltage drop V naught across them and this circuit we can redraw as follows 
So we have the 2 Henry inductor, the 2 ohm resistor. We replace the 10 ohm resistor and the 40 ohm resistor with an equivalent resistor. And this will have a value 10 parallel 40, which is 8 ohms. And the voltage drop across this resistor will be V0. And this current is ILT. We now have a single loop circuit. And we can see that the output voltage V0 is equal to minus 8 times ILT. This is because the current is entering the terminal marked minus. Therefore, when we apply Ohm's law to this resistor using passive sign convention, we must have a minus sign before this product. Now, substituting the values, we get minus 8 multiplied by 10 e raised power minus 5t. And this gives minus 8t e raised to the power minus 5t. This expression is valid for time t greater than or equal to 0 plus. If we substitute 0 in this expression, V output 0 plus is equal to minus 80 volts. And also V output 0 minus is equal to 0 volts. Uh, and this comes from analyzing the circuit before switching takes place. We can reconfirm the answer using PSPICE. This is the same circuit simulated in PSPICE. The value of the initial current uh, is defined for the inductor. And we are interested in the output voltage across the 40 ohm resistor. When we simulate, we can see that initially the voltage across the 40 ohm resistor is minus 80 volts and then it exponentially decays to zero. And after five time constants, which is about one second has passed, this value is close to zero. So this confirms the solution.